You asked me the first question. Okay. So Lola, what is your full name? My name is Esther uh, Doble Duerme. Ah. May nickname ba kayo? Wala. Wala? Uh, when were you born? March 19, 1929. Where were you born? Uh, I was born in uh, uh, San Juan. San Juan, a, a, a barrio of San Juan. Hmm. Yeah. Saan pong San Juan? It's right there at Pinatubo. Ah, okay. How did you move to Batolan? Uh, when my husband retired. And he's planning to go back to the province. Uh, I let him go at first. But then I followed him right here in Batolan because I do not know what he is doing. H how old were you? Uh, I was already uh, 62, 72, mm. 72 years old. Where did you live in Quezon City? 70 on Rubia, Project 4, Quezon City. How about in America? Where did you live in America? Uh, I live at a... Uh, I to address Lodana Palimo. San Francisco. Pacific. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. What's your address here? Uh, there is no address here. What's the name of where you live? Uh, Tangway, Tauto, Zambales, Philippines. How long have you lived here? Well, uh, uh, I am already 85, but then I stayed 10 years in the United States. 10 years only. Mm. Yeah. So you but I am already 86, 85. So 75 years. Mm. Mm. We live in different places. In Project 4, in Paitan, here, and formerly we were just staying in this small house. And then, uh, by nine, I don't know what year is it. Uh, we made this house. <clears throat> yeah. When? Who are your parents? Uh, Sabino Doble is my father, and my mother is Graciana Casuela Do uh, 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 Doble. Doble. What was your father's job? He was a uh, postmaster, uh, postmaster at Iba Sambalis. Mm. What was your mom's job? She is a seamstress. Saan? Sa Iba rin. Sa Iba rin? And then, how many siblings do you have? I have five. Five. Can you name them? Yeah. Uh, uh, my eldest is Nicanora Doble. I describe niyo sila. Uh, she's a girl and she died. She died uh, when she was 80 years old. And I don't know when was that. Mm. And the second is me. I am the second child. And then Pablo. Doble. She's my third sibling. And my fourth sibling is Josefino Doble. And he died also. And then Victor Doble is the last one. 
and he's still alive. Where did you go to school? Oh. Uh, Nung elementary kayo? Yeah. I, I, I spent my elementary years in Iba, mm. Sambales. Mm. And then my high school What's at the name Iba, Sambales too. And then at, the, at my college, I attended UP, College of Dentistry. Mm -hmm. Did you take to a final exam? Of course. What was your score? Ah, it's very high. Really? 86.5. Uh, out of how many? Uh, uh, there were so many, but I did not know how many. How many. Hmm. What did you study when you went to college? I took up dentistry mm. at the UP. Mm. Yeah. What made you want to study dentistry? Because it is the wish of my father. Uh, did you like it? I like it, but I do not perfectly like it because I want to get education before. Mm. Yeah. So how old were you when you started dentistry? Uh, Practicing it. Uh, I could not remember it, but it was a four-year course, and I graduated at 1951. I uh, I started taking up dentistry at the UP in Manila. Mm -hmm. And then I transferred to Quezon City. Were you a good dentist? Pardon me? Were you a good dentist? Ah, uh, yeah. I was a good dentist because I treated small children. And then I, I treated also the big patients uh, at the Quezon City uh, JSIS. Do you think you were you were an attractive woman when you were young? I think so. Did you have many suitors? Uh, I have many suitors, but I answered only one. And who is that one? He is Mr. Jose Duerme. The next question. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when did you get married? I got married uh, December 27, oh. 1953. Uh. 53. Uh. To who? To who? Jose Duerme. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what attracted you to him? Anong gusto niyo sa kanya? Uh, he's honest. He's honest. He's honest. That's one particular thing. Yeah. And then, he is so good because he goes to the fields every day. <laughs> he goes to the fields every day. <laughs> How did you meet? Oh, he saw me in our little house at the town, and then he saw me in the. I don't know what it was. Long dress? Or? Yeah. Uh, I was not particularly interested in him because I did not know him. But then he proposed. He proposed right away. How long were you together? Yeah, uh, we uh, not. Uh, uh, you mean dating? Yeah. We only had a date once, only once. And then he proposed. Uh, maybe. When was your first pregnancy? Uh, my first pregnancy was. Uh, uh, I gave birth to my first son. Renato on the year uh, uh, 1955. How many children do you have? I have five children. Can you name them? Yeah. My second child is Mikael Duerme. My third child is Elisa Duerme. My fourth child is Celia Duerme. 
and my youngest daughter is Milen D. Wow, okay, very good. Can you describe them? Oh, they're of ordinary faces. <laughs> so How many grandchildren do you have? Three only. Three. Can you name them? Uh, Angela. Uh, I know family. <laughs> Short. 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 And then my second uh, 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 grandchild. Grandchild. Grandchild is Camille. Camille Short. And then my third grandchild is. Uh, uh, what's your name? <laughs> Madeline. 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 Uh, Duerme. 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 Can, can you describe us? Oh, they're all so beautiful. Ah, thank you. <laughs> How many great grandchildren do you have? How many? Great grandchildren. Apostle Tuhod. Three. Can you name them? Yeah. The first one is a girl. Ano pangalan niya? <laughs> Jassy. Uh, what's her, the family name? Langi. La Langi. Langi. And the second child is Buba. <laughs> Buba. <laughs> and the third child is Kali. Kwento kayo? Kwento. <laughs> Who did you babysit in America? Oh, so many. Who? Angela. Uh, Camille, I also. And then there were so many babies there. But the last one is. What's your name? Didai. Didai. You were just. Newly born. How old were you? I was uh, uh, Siguro Mga Half of my age My, my staying in America One half of that mm -hmm. 60s. Yeah. So 60s? Who's your doctor? Dr. Kabigas in the Philippines. But I don't remember my doctor in the USA. When did you have your stroke? Uh, my stroke was October 29, 19. Uh, 66. Ah. How old were you? I was 37 years old only. Ah. Yeah, that was my first stroke. What would you be doing if you didn't have a stroke? Sure. Stroke. Ah, uh, yeah. Well, I could not do anything. Well, but what would you do if you didn't have the stroke? Oh, well, there are so many things I could do. Uh, to take care of the house, uh, to take care of the fields, and to see other things. How old were you during the Japanese war? I was 13 years old. And then, <coughs> uh, the war was finished at least three years or four years. Yeah, and that was the hardest part of my life. Why? Because I had malaria and we were sleeping under the tree. Really? Yeah. Were you scared? Uh, I was scared, but I could not do anything because I was with my parents. Mm. They, they will surely... Uh, guard me against any disease or anything that happens to me. Mm. 
Yeah. What was your oldest memory as a child? Uh, when I had my mom carry me to the wedding of my friend, Rosina, I attended it. I was two and a half years old then. But then I was dressed up well by my father, my mother. Uh, a perfect dress, but I was only a child. Yeah. Are you happy for how your children turned out? Are yes. you proud? Yes. My, I am so happy. Yeah. But uh, I'm so happy before because I, I don't care for anything. I just care for myself. But now, no. I have so many things to think about. Like? Like what? Uh, the, the, how my children will be able to go to heaven. Yeah. Uh, to some parts of the U.S. But I went outside the U.S. When I went to Renato's place, that is at Germany, uh, at uh, England, I've been I've been to London, and then another country, Italy, Italy. Pagkat tapos mayroon pang isang country, Belgium, I think. Belgium. At sa kayong malit na country do sa Germany, what country is that? Such a tiny. That is, na matataas nga ang mga mga buildings. Pero I don't remember that name. Mexico. You've been to Mexico. Ah, huh? Mexico. Ah, oh, yeah. I've been to Mexico. What was your favorite place? None. None. Okay. Because I did not stay there long. Were you a good swimmer? Yes, I am. Because the UP taught me how to swim. Mm. Yeah. I was at third year college when we were taught how to swim. But then, after uh, finishing that uh, short instructions, I did not swim again. Yeah. Mm. What else? What do you like to do? Now? B what were your hobbies? Oh. Before? I have so many things I could do. The planting of the plants in for... Uh, anong pangalan niya? Ar anong pangalan niya ang mga halaman? Garden. Garden? Yeah, garden. So, what? Is your favorite food? I just want an ordinary, ordinary food, ordinary meals. Well, what did you, what did you like when you were a kid? All. All. Hello, hello. Uh, no. 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 What was your favorite recipe to cook? There were so many recipes. Which I learned from my mother. What was your favorite? Uh, uh, fried uh, in. Mm. Uh, what is your favorite movie? Oh, all of my movies are the Maalikabo. 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 What's your favorite Western? What? So, what's your favorite actor? Uh, or who is your favorite actor? Uh, Robert Redford. Okay. What kind of music did you like? Or do you like? 50s. Hmm. The music from the 50s. Who's your favorite musician? Do you like dancing? 
Yes. Can you dance? Not now. But did you go clubbing? Did you go disco? No, I did not. But I went. I went to dance uh, with many people also. What kind of dance did you do? What? What type of dance? Did Any you? dance. How do you like aging? Well, I like to age, but uh, it is too hard for me. Why? To, to, to suffer all these things which I am suffering now. Like it's too bad. Like, like what? My eyes, my nose, my teeth, my arms, my feet. My waistline are all aching. What about your boobs? Uh, boobs, no more. <laughs> no more. <laughs> no more. Don't mention it. <laughs> what was the best advice they ever gave you? What? Best advice that my they gave you? My father gave me? Apa? Uh, my father gave me the least is instruction because I always followed him. Mm. I always followed him. What about your mom? What was her best advice? <laughs> My mom was a seamstress, but then I learned everything that she does, uh, including the. Uh, I all I could make buttonholes, good buttonholes. What about advice on life? What was her uh, bio? Nobody, because I was uh, the librarian in the Sambales High School. I read so many books. If you could go back in time, what age would you go back to? 80. Why 80? Because I'm still not too weak. I'm not too weak. What would you do? When? I'll, if you would go back in time? I'll, I'll, I'll do what any other uh, Mrs. keeps on doing here. Planting, uh, planting these plants and then so many other things. Mm. I'll look for gulai or any other thing, especially this. Uh, what else would you like to accomplish? This time? Apa? Uh, I would like to uh, clear my name because I don't know what these people are speaking of uh, about me. But I know that I'm I am uh, sinless. I do not, I did not commit anything towards other people other people. Mm. Are you proud of yourself? Of course. Mm. Yeah. What's your proudest moment of your life? Uh, my proudest moment was at the time Mike was able to find a job. Mm. Mm. Um, what was your biggest regret of your life? I have none. None? None. Biggest fear? I have none. None? What would you like to say to everyone, to the family? Yeah. I would like to say that uh, the end is near for me, and then I would be like, uh, they would be like me when they grow old, and then when I die, I hope I did not give any problem to anybody. Mm. Yeah, any problem. Mm. What 
do you want to say to your children? They should be like me. Yeah. No. Who believes in God? Who what believes in God? What about your grandchildren? But I, I want them also to be like me. Yeah, but I don't know if they will. What is being like you? What do you mean by being like you? Like me, who is relig religious, mm. who, who believes in God. Yeah. Nayon, sino ang best friend nyo? All my children and my grandchildren. Yeah, wala nang iba. Oh, sige po. Say, I love you. I love you too. Uh, sige, okay? That's the last one. Bigyan mo ako ng tubig at gusto ko ng ilinyo. At talaga. Yeah. <laughs> Tingnan natin yan. Yung interview. Mabuti at maganda lang ang ngiting ko. Nakakaya. Pag wala pang mga ngiting yan. I am 86 and I am no more teeth. Talaga. <laughs> You can show that to your friends and you tell them that I could still speak English now. I only had my boyfriend. I have only one boyfriend. And What's then, his name? Jose Duarte.